Okay, I'm Dr. Mordecai Blau, and I'm a gynecomastia surgeon and a, and a plastic surgeon, a board certified plastic surgeon. And I also do a transgender cases, means a female to male, uh, which are very similar to gynecomastia. And I did cases that were very successful and patients were happy. The main advantage of the way I do it, I, I develop a technique that you can do it through a very small, tiny scar that eventually is inconspicuous rather than the way it's done now with huge scars, very long scars, deep scars. And those patients, after it many times, they can't really... Uh, uh, and take the shirt off because the scars are very prominent. In my techniques, the scars are minimal and many times are not noticeable. Um, those I know those those people are very sensitive, and like anybody else about the breast. And since they became from female to male, now they don't cover the breast anymore, and you can't have extensive scars in the breast because it defeats the purpose. Uh, uh, th this surgery takes me about an hour and a half to two hours and sometime if it's a large breast after the surgery they might have some uh, might need some small procedures in order to make it uh, as good as it can be uh, the transgender patients uh, they have to be patient because it takes a long time until the swelling do go goes down and until we see if we have to do anything else. And they, they have to be realistic. But so far, the one I did, as I say, the scar is minimal to none. And they were very happy with the results. So all the one I did were were very successful and with practically no scar. Um, and now I'm teaching other plastic surgeons about uh, the method, how to do it. And I'm teaching them uh, through the American Society of Plastic Surgery, the American Aesthetic Society of Plastic Surgery, and the International Society of Plastic Surgery. I do give lectures uh, like a few times a year to all to thousands and thousands of plastic surgeons and also now I'm in the midst of writing an article about transgender uh, 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 reduction of of, uh, of female breast. Uh, uh, thank you. It's Dr. I have a question. Yeah. How, how does transgender? Uh, how does the transgender surgery differ from the male surgery? Is it the severity, the breast size? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's really the breast size and uh, the severity. Many times it's BOC breast and they have excess skin for many, many years. So you have to take care of the excess skin here. That's why many plastic surgeons do excise skin with very noticeable scars and it defeats the purpose. What I do, I rely on the skin contractibility and I have this method to really repair it with minimal, minimal scarring. Uh, and you said that that transgender patients have to be a bit patient. What does the healing process yeah, look like? Yeah, because when you have so, such a large breast for so many years, it takes time until there is the the skin contract, and and uh, after about a year or so, we can see if it was enough contraction, or they need another surgery again with minimal scar. Uh, so I do urge them to be uh, patient, and if they're not patient and not realistic, then uh, it's very hard to work with them. But I found that most of them, they prefer minimal inconspicuous scar, and they're willing to be patients. And then after the after the year, um, is it the the second surgery may be a modification or a revision? Are you also removing breast tissue or are you removing skin? No, I don't remove usually skin, and I don't remove breast tissue because I did it the first time. I usually I redistribute the skin on the chest, 
means I undermine the chest, which we call it flaps, and then uh, as a result of this, the skin fits better the chest, we, and the, a lot, most of the excess skin, sometimes all of this just disappears. Hmm. And they have really nice male breasts, as they wish to. That's, that's, the, the, that's what they wanted to, uh, to get from the surgery. Is there anything that, uh, that a trans person, someone in transition, could do to augment this healing, like bench pressing or fitness? Yeah, definitely. It's always uh, exercise, gym, go to the gym and do chest workup. It definitely helps. And definitely on anybody, not only on gender, makes the results better because the pectoralis muscle is more accentuated and it looks more masculine. Also, not to gain weight or sometimes to lose a little weight uh, or at least not to gain weight is, is very helpful. Because gaining weight stretches the skin. Stretch the skin and you get uh, 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 more fatty tissue that sometimes people confuse it with gynecomastia, but it's just fatty tissue. So I do urge them to be very active and to, to go to the gym regularly. How do you feel that modern surgical techniques are serving the trans community right now? Uh, unfortunately. Most of them that I see, and I see a lot of them, or they email me pictures, are not done the way that uh, is really really serves the patient the best. It's huge scars, and I, I never saw anyone that the, the scar wasn't very conspicuous. And those patients still, they cannot take the shirt off in social situation when they go to the beach, or they they. they they change, uh, if they're athletic, they change their shirts and stuff like this. So immediately those scars are visible. And that's what my surgery is doing. To, uh, the improvement in my surgery is that the scars are usually inconspicuous, but you need patient. It takes patient and it takes works. My, it takes my time and the patient's time to do it the right way. So it takes a bit more time, but the result is much, much better, more natural. Yeah, the better as far as the scarring, and the scarring is the main problem. You know, once you all scarred in the chest, I don't know what you really achieved from the surgery, because you're not going to take your shirt anyway. If you uh, could give any advice to uh, someone making this transition, what would it be? Uh, it will be, again, to, as anybody else, to improve your physique and to be patient during the surgery. And, and uh, you have to be confident on the surgeon you chose. If you chose a surgeon that has a lot of experience, you really have to go alone to listen to his instruction over the time and uh, to do certain things that we do require that is going to help it uh, become better. So, uh, and be realistic, you know, not every case is going to end at the same, all of them is going to be significant, uh, significant improvement, but, but each one is really very individual, and you really have to choose a very uh, experienced gynecomaster surgeon, not, it, not only plastic surgeon, he has to be a gynecomaster surgeon, means that he has to do multiple gynecomastia cases and or multiple transgender cases.